السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وقت معايا العربية دي بي ام دبليو اي سيكستي المفروض انه هي بتدور بروكسيميتي بس ما فيش الا ده ونضيف ان شاء الله واحد Hello everybody, now I'm having this BMW E60. This car is having an original working key, this one, and it is a proximity key. So if we press brake and start stop button, now the car started with my key on my hand. And unfortunately, this button is not working and only that one is working so the car uh, you can unlock I'm sorry you can lock the vehicle with the button but uh, you can't unlock it with the button so uh, the customer used to use the proximity functions to enter the vehicle so now I uh, will program a second key for it and it will be uh, without the proximity functions uh, standard semi smart key that you have to put it here on the key slot to start the vehicle okay also I want to tell you uh, something that on the OBD2 connector I'm having a broken wire here and the connector is not good also maybe broken pins here so uh, we will change this OBD2 connector later but now I can't connect with OBD2 for uh, this car and uh, as you see the transmission shifter here uh, so this car seems to be the higher model and uh, the CAS will be uh, CAS 3 plus or STP version so we don't need to take the risk and I will remove the CAS and uh, read with VVDI proc and write the key via dump so now we will need uh, to take uh, this panel out, the lower panel here, and um, take the uh, cast out. Okay, and now I'm having the cast module outside the vehicle on the bench. And as you see here, C4 means uh, that uh, this cast may be cast 3 plus or the P so uh, the best way to do this cast is via dump and now I will disassemble uh, the cover and connect uh, the wires of uh, BVDI prog okay now as you see here is the printed circuit board for the CAS 0L15Y and I connected BVDI prog and opened the software then I will go to mobilizer BMW CAS 3 D0 L15Y okay as you see the mask here Okay. This one, then click on connection diagram. It will show you that you need to connect version one cable, which will be this one, and it will show you where you should connect these wires should be seven wires power and ground three wires and these two okay so now I will solder the wires and come back again okay and as you see here I have the wires connected as on that diagram here 
also uh, the 12 volts power connected to VVDI prog so I will close then uh, I will make a folder here as uh, E60 prox okay this folder uh, close then EEPROM then go to read now it read the EEPROM successfully save test EEPROM then save then go to flash and read trying and it began to read I know that reading flash on this situation uh, you, you can neglect it I mean by uh, this situation adding key because only the EEPROM file is enough for adding the key but I'm just reading the flash uh, in case of uh, something went wrong I prefer to have a backup Okay, now I will save the flash. Okay, on E60 proximity folder, then save. <sighs> okay, now I will close VVDI prog software. And uh, now I need to connect VVDI2 to uh, write the new key. Before that, also, I will uh, check the frequency on uh, that key to get uh, another spare key with the same frequency okay now I'm having the two keys here and connected VVDI2 and check the frequency this one is the working one why it showed that okay this button is the working button Maybe because the key is proximity key without pressing any button, the frequency change as you see. But if I disconnect vivid I two and connect it again and go to check frequency, I will go as fast as possible, then check. 868 from this distance it changed so I will take it there it's still changing anyway I will press on that 868 so both both keys are using the same frequency so now I'm connecting VVDI2 we'll get the two keys and I will open VVDI2 software yes go to uh, BMW Uh, key learn uh, K 
Kaskey Learn. No, this one is for OBD. Um, file Mickey. I think it will be this one. Load EEPROM dump file. You have to choose 0L15Y. Then load EEPROM dump file. Desktop test. Uh, E60 proximity EEPROM open OK key number 5 make the look key new key I think I have to decrypt the ISN with uh, the working key but I will put the new key, then OK, no, start make key, please wait, please save the new EEPROM down file and press OK to continue, OK, new EEPROM then uh, save dealer key me make, make okay please use the new key to start the engine if failed you should flash the new CAS e from dump file into CAS system okay i think we don't need to write uh the e from back again anyway i will unsolder the wires and assemble and go to try directly Okay, now I'm having the two keys here and the CAS assembled and now I will plug the connector to the CAS, this one and this one, two connectors and insert that key to activate it and test the remote functions, uh, the remote function and the starting also. Okay, now we uh, plugged uh, the CAS and I have the two keys here if I press brake then try to start the car the car started uh, successfully because that key is still inside the vehicle so now I will take this key outside the vehicle and I will leave it far then I will activate this key by inserting it here now I will stop the vehicle sorry I will stop the vehicle and take this key out and now I have this key only on the car so if I press brake and try to start the car nothing happened and for sure the remote function is not working so you need to insert the key on the slot and press start stop button once and here I have the ignition came on and take the key out again insert it back press brake and start stop button and now the car started successfully Now I will stop the engine, take the key out, and now we'll test the remote. Now the remote is working. Good. Okay, now that's it.